So you click the folder that you want to put the assessment in, then you add materials, click assessment, then you name the assessment, number six, matching assessment. Then you add the due date, and you put in the points for the assessment. Then you make sure you enable, click enable. Then you click the category assessment. Then create. You will put in the instruction here. And then type whatever instruction you want to type here. Then we are going to change the font, but because the font is not here, we're going to paste it in, in a Word document. Make sure it is Comic Sans. Copy and then paste it here because here we do not have Comic Sans. Then we check our lower settings. Then the attempt for the student, number of times they can attempt to do the test. We click and we click three. We select three and the highest score will be applied. You make sure everything is okay. Save. Then you add the questions. You click add the questions. Then this is a matching, so you choose matching. You look and you choose matching. You will remove the boxes that you don't need. And then you will add the instructions. So you go to Word and you copy the instruction and paste it here. You can adjust it to the size you want. Then you go into the column and you adjust it to the size and add the number six or whatever information you have you need in that column. And you add the number two or whatever information you need. So that's one column. Now we're going to add the information on the next, which is to insert the image and we click and insert the image, open, and it's uploading. Then the width, you change it to the size you need. Like 100 is a good size and it automatically changed the height, changes the height. Then you click OK. Then you go to the next one. You insert image, you go, get the image, you upload it. Then remember the width again, change it. 100 is a good size, then okay. Then you have to go to correct answer setup and you pull, you drag. Exact match, make sure that is on. Then you click save. Then here you will add your points. It was two, two questions, and for each one point, so two questions. Then you go to preview from the, your student's perspective. You start new attempt. This is a preview. Your answer won't be saved or shared to students. Then you start new attempt. You're actually seeing how your test is. Then this is what the student would do at home. They would drag it and place it in the correct area. Then you review, click review, click finish, close preview, and that's it.